welcome back guys let's look into the next question uh, this one determine the load in member a b and a c if p is sufficient to hold the three kilonewton force so if there is a three kilonewton force acting in this direction and uh, there is some kind of a p force acting here and i wanted to find the load in member a a b a b and a c that's what i wanted to find out uh, so first of all to solve this kind of a question uh, if somehow i can find the value of p uh, the question will become super easy for me so let's look into how can we find out the value of p first of all so if i try and take the moment about point c uh, so if i draw a complete body diagram let's draw a complete body diagram or rather than drawing the complete body diagram i'm gonna use this diagram and i'm gonna draw the reaction loads at this point so the reaction load at point this is a pen joint so one will be r r c y will be here and then i can show r c x here and uh, uh, if i take the moment about point c so taking taking moment about c so uh, what can i say uh, m sigma m c equal to zero so three times three times the distance is 0 0.4 and this uh, three kilo newton is trying to rotate it in clockwise direction so i'm gonna write it as a negative load and then this p load plus p p is trying to rotate it in anti-clockwise or counterclockwise shall i say and then this times 0 0.3 which is equal to zero so this is three times 0.4 is equal to 1.2 this value is negative plus 0.3 p equal to zero 0.3 p equal to 1.2 and p equal to 1.2 divided by 0.3 and that should come out to be four i guess so let's uh, let's look into what we get the value as 1.2 divided by 0.3 it gives me 4 yeah so p value comes out to be 4 kilo newton and uh, i figured out the p value now it asks it's asking me to find the load in member a b and a c so if it is asking me to find the load in the members uh, in a b and a b and a c i can draw a point diagram also and that will make my question very simple so i'm going to draw a point diagram about point a uh, so uh, then uh, this is load b is acting in the downward direction this is four kilo newtons and then i can show this is point a this is c and this is i can represent this point as a b and uh, this uh, this angle is angle with respect to uh, let me change the colors so angle with respect to the horizontal line here this angle is 40 degrees and this angle is 25 degrees so rather than writing 25 degrees i'm going to write this complete angle as 65 degrees because 40 plus 25 will give me 65 degrees and now i just needed to apply the x and y forces in this question so and the equation will the equation will change will, will be sigma f of x equal to zero first of all so a b cos of 40 degrees plus a c cos cos of 65 degrees both are towards the right hand side of this point a so i'm gonna take both the values as positive equal to zero so a b value comes out to p i can't solve it because i don't know the value of a b i don't know the value of a c there is nothing else acting in the x direction so i'm going to write the other equation also so i'm going to write sigma sigma f of y equal to zero now uh, so this that equation will be negative four and negative four because the four kilonewton is acting in the downward direction minus a c sine 65 degrees minus a b sine 40 degrees all negative because all are acting in the downward direction all the three vertical components 
equal to zero so i can uh, i have two equations now ac sine 65 degrees minus ab sine 40 degrees equal to zero the other equation is other equation is oh not zero this is equal to four and uh, this is i can write it as the both are negative i can write it as ac ac cos 65 degrees plus ab cos 40 degrees is equal to is equal to zero and now let's find out the value of sine 65 so sine sine 65 is equal to 0 0.9 so negative 0 0.9 0 06 ac minus sine 40 sine 40 is equal to 0 0.64 642 and uh, equal to 0 I'll, I'll take it as 0 0.643 because it's 0 0.6427 so i've rounded the value oops equal to e oops ap equal to zero and then i'm gonna do the same thing for cosine of cosine 65 which comes out to be zero point z oops say what happened oops oh thank god so this value will be zero point zero point four to 2 ac and this is cos 40 cos 40 equals to 0 0.0.766 0 this value will be 6 is a p equal to 0 and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to erase this portion so that i can solve this question So I have two equations. I I will multiply this equation, first equation, first equation with 0 0.422, and the second equation with 0 0.0.906. 0 so if I multiply 0 0.906, 0 0.906 times 0 0.422, that's going to give me 0. 3 a 2 and then that is a negative value and then minus minus 0 0.643 times 0 0.422 is equal to 0 0.271 this is a p and this is a c equal to equal to Oh, I should have written here 4 so 4 times another value 4 times 0 0.422 because this value was 4 that's why I had to write 4 here so 1.688 and now this this value if I multiply 0 0.422 with 0 0.906 it's going to give me the same value 0 0.3 to ac and this plus 0.766 times 0 0.906 which is which is 0 0.693 i'm gonna mark it as again i'm rounding it to the three sig fix and then this is a b equal to zero and I add these two values this goes and then if I add these two values 0 0.694 minus 0 0.271 because there's a negative sign here so this value comes out to be 0 0.423 equal to 1.688 oops a b I'm gonna write a b on this side now so divided by 0 0.423 on both sides 0 0.423 1.688 divided by 
two three that's gonna give me three point nine nine so I'm gonna call a B as oops why did the color change I don't know hopefully it is recording a B is equal to three point nine nine and I'm gonna then we can easily find the AC I'll leave AC for you guys you can put the value of a B you can put this value a b in this this equation oops here you can put this value in this equation and can get the answer also and then let me check the value of a b is the a b value correct or not and the a b value is a b value comes out to be 4 kilonewton that's correct and ac value is 7.25 so if we got one value correct the other value will also be correct i don't know why my computer is showing some kind of uh, complications so i'm gonna stop this video here thank you bye